foreign policy segment in association with Gateway House. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Brazil for the sixth BRICS summit to be held over the next two days. This would be Prime Minister Modi's first multilateral summit after taking charge on the 26th of May. What will the Prime Minister's agenda be? To discuss this, I'm joined by Manjit Kriplani, Executive Director at Gateway House. Manjit, pleasure having you back. Thanks. Uh, this comes at an interesting time. Uh, how significant is this summit uh, and what's likely to be achieved? Well, first, it's very significant because it's uh, Prime Minister Modi's first overseas visit mm. uh, in terms of a multilateral meeting with, um, with world leaders. Mm. Uh, secondly, this is really, this is our moment. This mm. is the moment of the developing countries to now start charting a new course. Mm. Uh, the big discussion will be, of course, around the BRICS Bank. Mm. And we've heard a lot about it. Uh, I think that it's a very important, uh, it's a very important institution. This is the build out of the first of many mm. BRICS based multilateral institutions around sure. the world. We will be creating in a sense, for the first time, an alternative to the Western systems that have and institutions that have dominated the world since the Second World War. Sure. And um, we go, the discussion will be about the BRICS Bank, mm. what shape it will take. Mm. Everyone will have equal say in it. We will try and make uh, China not the dominant player because it is the richest, second richest player, mm. but it is certainly uh, going to try and dominate. Mm. And uh, most importantly, we will try and get an equal role. These five countries are significant. They have 24 trillion together in GDP. Mm. They have 40% uh, of the world's population. And each of them is nestled in a very significant part of the world. Mm. So India brings all of South Asia, South Asia with it. Mm. China brings Southeast Asia, Russia brings Central Asia, mm. South Africa brings Africa, and Latin America, I mean, Brazil brings all of Latin America. Mm. This is a big chunk of the world. The only one that's left is uh, North America and sure. Europe. Sure. So uh, this is gonna be a significant meeting. Let me ask you this, you know, this setting up the, of the BRICS Bank has been seen as a, a big game-changing move. Yes. Uh, the other thing that I've heard about is a currency stabilization fund, $100 billion and so on. Uh, these, con these countries have not traditionally have never agreed on anything uh, at, a, at the global stage. Uh, I've not agreed too much. If this bank is set up, where would, where would it be? Would it be in, in China? Would it be in India? So uh, the bank is significant to begin with. Uh. Uh, the, what has been happening is that China has been trying to dominate uh, the, the discourse on mm. what the bank should be doing. Because China is good on infrastructure, they want to have lending on infrastructure. Mm. When in fact, the BRICS bank should be doing exactly what the BRICS grouping is set up to do. We should be thinking about lending to uh, developing countries that mm. are things like industry link skilling programs. Mm. You know, those, those kind of projects, not just infrastructure lending, because we can manage our own infrastructure. Sure. And China can manage everyone's infrastructure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the second uh, most important thing about this uh, bank, the location of the bank, there is a battle about it. Mm. Uh, China, of course, wants to have it in Shanghai. Mm. Uh, Moscow is too far away. But India really is the right place. South mm. Africa thought about the first, the idea of the BRICS Bank was first mooted in South Africa, but declared in Delhi in 2012. Mm. Uh, but actually, the I, the center of BRICS is B-R-I-C-S, is mm. India. Oh. It should be in <laughs> India yeah. and not in Delhi, because in Delhi it will turn out to be just another bureaucratic uh, place. So the place is Mumbai is what the you're saying? The place is Mumbai, absolutely. Uh, sure. okay. <laughs> and the reason in Mumbai is because uh, we have a huge community mm. of financial um, Experts, mm. we have big banking industry, mm. we have the world's most, well, developing the world's most trusted uh, financial institutions. The RBI is very well liked, uh, very well respected. We have the oldest stock exchange in Asia. Sure. And Mumbai is actually an eight hour uh, radius from around Mumbai, mm. is flying time to all the BRICS countries, and we are at the center. That's a very good pitch. But let me <laughs> ask you this larger, larger question. Um, there is a debate right now that the, the, the BRICS as a group is yes. losing its clout, it's on the wane. Uh, to have any significant impact at the global level. Uh, how would you react to that? So who's saying that? A large part of the Western world. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, I think this is a sign that the West is looking upon the BRICS, the rise of the BRICS. Uh, I think they are threatened by it. Mm. They have been non-stop uh, comment commentaries on how the BRICS are really just an acronym, mm. an acronym that the West created, but they were spot on. Mm. And in fact, I think that the BRICS is going to uh, is going to rise as a grouping mm. because there is a need for it. Mm. There is a need, most importantly, for a geopolitical mm. uh, dialogue that is a non-Western geopolitical dialogue. Mm. There is a need for geoeconomic dialogue that is a non 
non-Western geoeconomic dialogue, and by, by that I mean mm. a non-dollar financial architecture sure. that all the countries are looking for mm. because the Western world is dominating with its geopolitics and and really harming harming the rest of the world with its geoeconomics. Anything happens, the first thing they do is freeze bank accounts, uh, sanction, mm. and really close off the economies. Mm. So we've seen in Iran and Russia, for instance, sure. if NATO doesn't like what they do, they close them off. Sure. We suffer. Mm. China, India are two of the biggest uh, consumers of energy. Sure. We suffer. So we need to get out of that dollar architecture mm. and we need to get an alternate system going. Sure. And that we can do. But let me ask you this. Uh, the, 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 the conflict in Ukraine and the role of Russia in that, yes. would, you, would, that would that in a sense overshadow the dialogue at, at BRICS this time? I don't think it's going to matter to anyone in BRICS what Russia is doing in the Ukraine. Mm. Uh, this is a conversation that is in BRICS. Mm. Uh, People in, um, you know, we have Kashmir, China has Xinjiang. Mm. We're not going to bring that up. This sure. is a Western uh, and mostly U.S. NATO-centered um, discussion. Mm. Uh, the conflict is uh, added to by them. It's mm. incremented by them mm. because they're just arming who they call the good rebels. And we know what happened to Libya and Syria and Iraq when you arm the good rebels. Sure. Uh, so this, I don't think it's going to overshadow the conversation at all. I have one final question, and this is with respect to our own foreign policy and our own businesses. Uh, what kind of business opportunity does Brazil and, and this union really mean for India? Uh, so Prime Minister Modi is not just going to be meeting uh, heads of BRICS, but he's also going to be meeting the heads of all the other of 11 Latin American countries. Sure. This is a stupendous opportunity. Mm. A, it brings Latin America into the BRICS fold mm. in, a, in a nice way. It gives, it gives BRICS backing. And uh, B, it's a good chance for us to develop an alternate energy mm. um, um, engagement mm. with Latin America. We are already dependent on uh, the Ukraine. Mm. Uh, we are about, we are talking with Peru about a preferential trade agreement. Mm. Um, you know, TCS began its big overseas Latin America business in Uruguay. Sure. So Latin America is important to us. We have a lot to learn from them in terms of agriculture. Mm. Uh, Brazil has, uh, uses ethanol. Mm. You know, we can think about creative ways to find alternate um, energy systems, but we really should engage with them with energy. And Petrobras, we have a lot to learn from them. Uh, OVL should be engaging with them, Gale should be engaging with them. Mm. There's, uh, there's a huge engagement to be had with Latin America that uh, we haven't had before and it's very exciting times.